So we're going to talk um, nut thread inserts. And I got a lot going on here and I don't edit my video so please work, work with me on this. It's the Astro Extra Large Rivet Nut Drill Adapter. They're really slick. Uh, before you, in, when it first came out, you basically had a rivet, pop rivet type gun that you had to squeeze. And then when you got up to your 3.8 size, which I'm getting ready to demo here, it was almost impossible to do that. They came out with these, which makes it easier to do 3.8 and even half inch. Um, but once again, you got to have the room to work with something like this and the muscle. Now this thing here only does 3 eighths, but it does everything down to your 632, 832. So once again, it's it's nice, a nice tool. Goes right along with your, um, you don't want to be using an impact nut driver because you have to clutch this, otherwise you're going to avoid the warranty. So with that, I've already got the 3 eighths screwed on. The stud in the middle, I'll, if you stick around to the end, I'll show you all the internals of this. But that's flush, ready to go. Let me put my glove on. I already got the hole drilled out. Stick it in there. Your ribs will go through. I mean, you could go up to quarter, you could probably go through quarter inch steel, but the, the nice thing about nut certs is it's for thin metal where you just can't put threads. Set the clutch a little higher. You're seeing that bead right there on the back. I'll show it to you in a minute, closer view. Set the clutch a little higher. All right, there we go. Put it in reverse. You gotta hold on to this, obviously. Back that out. Like with most nut certs tools, you always have to back it out. They always give you a way to unscrew it. This thing here, you turn the knob. This thing here, you just manually turn it. You back it out. And there's the bead I was telling you about right there. And then this is one I already did earlier. You can see it really nice gives you good good threads here's a quarter inch stainless steel one i did earlier once again plenty of thread so you get get it tight and you can obviously with the ribs on here the design is they won't spin it takes a lot to get these things to spin when you tighten your bolt down but you can't over tighten them and I have had people say that they have spun on them. So obviously hand wrench this stuff. You don't want to be wasting all your work by putting an impact on these things and spinning, sp spinning your nut cert right out. But the great thing about this is thin plastic, quarter inch, put a machine screw in it. Got your thread, plenty of threads. Obviously, you're not going to be able to hang a lot of hard, heavy stuff with this thing. But, other, you know, at least gives you an option to put threads in thin metal. This is the one I really like. Plexiglass. This is quarter-inch plexiglass. Obviously, drilling through plexiglass is a, is a job of its own. Um, but, and the other thing with plexiglass, um, unlike here where you really get a good bead on it, you want to lay off this one here just get a little bit of a bead because if you do put too much pressure outward pressure you're going to split your shatter your plexiglass obviously this is you're not going to once again hang a lot of heavy stuff on this thing here so it's perfect gives you plenty of threads and it's just a great option to have when you're needing threads in thin metal so, for you guys that um, want to move on, if you haven't moved on already, I'll just show you how these things basically work. 
So, like I said, you've got a nut driver, you can use it as long as you feel comfortable with the clutch. But you just twist these off, starting with the, the big ring here. And then once that's backed off, then you back off the, the, the main one there. And there's a spring in there, a pretty good size spring that you don't want to lose. And then you have, I guess they call this your pulling stud. The wrench comes with the kit, so you can loosen that up, take it out. In my case, if I want to drop down a, a quarter inch adapter, screw that on there. Tighten it up. There's that spring I just want to show you. Pretty good size. You got your housing slides over there. When you have the it all the way down, it's easier to screw on. You can't have your adapter spread out. You can still get it done. It's just you're just fighting the spring pressure. Um, once the main cylinder gets tight, then you spin your other nut down, tighten it. Then each thread, your 1032 and 832, they'll have a um, special size nut for it, obviously. Screw it on. Oops. <laughs> Told you I don't edit these things. I forgot to take the creates one off. Been a long day. All right, so it's off. Quarter 21 goes on. Tighten it. And then once again, you twist that clockwise it comes in. That's why your drill is gonna pull it in when it's doing the actual setting of the nut cert. Counterclockwise. You'll see the shaft coming out, and you can screw your nuts right on. Once again, until you get to the, see the thread coming out the, the end. And once you do that, you're good to go. Pretty nice. Once again, especially for things like this, unheard of things in the past to be able to put threads in plastic these tools are nice you can find these all over matter of fact my e-store i got a link to a few of a few nice sets because they got the sae plus the metric adapters some of them come with nut certs others just come with the tool and adapters pretty reasonably priced you can get a good set of these um pretty decent astronomatic i don't see these much on um the internet, but any of your tool dealers can get it for you. We sell them. And then related to that, I'm not going to demo it, but they do have the pop rivet version of it. So you can basically have a uh, pop rivet gun that's, you know, better operated. So what's nice about these things is you purchase like from an earlier video, I purchased this off Amazon, not to go back to that discussion, but a drill and you have these nice adapters to go with it, even with the one like this I showed yesterday, a video before. I mean, so take advantage of the adapter so you don't have to actually go out and buy. Um, I just sold a M12 rivet, pop rivet gun. Um, you know, $180, you know, you're getting close to $300 when it's got the battery and the kit, where if you're using it all day long, I it, that would be justified. But if you're like me and you just need a pop rivet every now and then or set a nut, nut a thread insert every now and then, I mean, can't beat these. So hope this video was interesting, helped you out wasn't boring. I tried to get to the point. Please subscribe and we'll keep them coming. Thank you.